Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Timon of Athens and we get to hear from Flaminius today in Act 3, Scene 1. So brief recap of what's been going on. Uh, Timon is extremely generous to the point where he is now at least 25,000 in debt and he has sent three of his servants to some of his friends, friends, to see if they can loan him some money to help him get out of this immediate, immediate debt that he is in. And all of this came to his attention because um, three other servants from three other quote unquote friends came to collect money that was owed to their masters, the senators that they worked for. So Timon had been annoyed with his servant Flavius. The Flavius hadn't told him, but Flavius was like, I did, I, like I tried to tell you about a bajillion times and you didn't want to listen. So Timon is eventually like, all right, let's mortgage my lands, which I can't do. So he sends out these people to try to get money. And he already knows that this is an uphill battle because Flavius took it upon himself. He had the initiative to already try going to the senators to ask them for money on Timon's behalf. And they said no. But Timon is still being optimistic about this. He thinks that, yes, somebody, one of his friends, because he's, he's been kind to the entire city of Athens. He's like, somebody has to be helpful and, and take pity on me and lend me some money. So Flaminius is one of these servants and he has been sent to Lucullus's house to ask Lucullus for some money. And he shows up and Lucullus' servant is like, yeah, come on in. And Lucullus comes in and he's like, Flaminius, my good friend, you must be coming to bring me more gifts from Timon because he's such a wonderful, generous man. What is it that you're bringing me? And Flaminius is like, well, actually nothing. This is just an empty box. We're hoping to actually borrow some money because Timon has come on some rough times and needs some help. And Lucullus counters by saying, you know, I tried to tell him a lot of times that he was giving away more than he had and that maybe he should you know, be generous in other ways or not be quite so generous or something like that. So this is kind of a, a situation that he got himself into. And yeah, I don't have anything to lend him right now. But here, Flaminius, you just take these three little gold coins just for you because you're so good. Like you're a great servant. You do a great job. You just take these. You just take these because you're a good guy. And Flaminius, to his credit, throws those three coins back at Lucullus and is like, you're disgusting. And Lucullus is like, well, I guess I was wrong about you. And he storms off and Flaminius gets this moment on the stage by himself to say, may these add to the number yet may scald thee. Let molten coin be thy damnation, thou disease of a friend and not himself. Has friendship such a faint and milky heart it turns in less than two nights? Oh, you gods! I feel my master's passion. This slave unto his honor has my lord's meat in him. Why should it thrive and turn to nutriment when he is turned to poison? Oh, may diseases only work upon it. And when he's sick to death, let not that part of nature, which my Lord paid for, be of any power to expel sickness, but prolong his hour. So Flaminius is a true and loyal servant to Timon. He's basically cursing Lucullus here through pretty much the whole thing. Like he, he throws the coins back at him because he doesn't want to take this kind of money. But then he curses Lucullus and he's he's kind of shocked that the you know Lucullus was at dinner not even two days ago and already he's being such a jerk and and abandoning Timon so he, he's a little bit surprised that the tide of friendship can turn so quickly but had he been talking to Appermantis he would have had a clue about that because Appermantis has been saying that was going to happen all along but anyway nobody listens to Appermantis so, and then he, he's going on the bit about the meat. He, that's, again, a reference to the dinner and the fact that Lucullus just ate this huge, glorious meal that Timon paid for. He's still digesting it, but he refuses to help Timon. So he wants the food that Lucullus is digesting to make him sick. 
to not give him any nourishment or energy or anything like that. He hopes that he gets sick and that nothing that Lucullus has ever bought with anything that Timon gave him should bring him should bring Lucullus any sort of peace or comfort or better health. So, yeah, that's how you curse someone. <laughs> and anyway, that's the end of Act 3, Scene 1. So my guess is that you can figure out where this is going to go from here. But come back tomorrow anyway, because there's more, and it's going to be fun to like check out the whole journey. We're only in Act 3. There's a ton left to go. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for more. Mwah.